Hey everybody, so we're here today to do a little science. I'm Dr. Brian Williams. I'm here with my, my son David today, and we're gonna be doing some science of butter. We're gonna be studying how do you make butter from regular household ingredients, things you have right around your home. Um, so David, how about tell us what we're gonna be using? Well, we have heavy whipping cream and a plastic container and marble. So pretty simple materials, <laughs> pretty simple materials, um, things you got right around your home. So people ask why we're we using cream. So we use cream because butter is basically milk fat, right? And so we want something that has a lot of fat. So if you think about cream, cream looks like little balloons filled with fat floating around in water. And if we can get those, those pieces of fat begin to clump together, then we get butter. So scientists would call uh, cream a colloid. It's a suspension of a solid in a liquid. And we're gonna try to separate that solid from the liquid and create some butter today. So here's what we're gonna do. David's gonna grab our butter here. Well, not our butter. David's gonna grab our cream. We're gonna pour it into our <laughs> Vanna White. We're gonna pour it into our, uh, our plastic container here. Perfect, that's good, that's good. All right, so like I said, once again, we've got a lot of cream, um, we've got fat, and we've got water, and we've gotta figure out a way to get them to separate. And so the way that we're gonna do that is we're gonna get them to start bumping around with each other, smashing into each other, and those little blooms are gonna pop, and those pieces of fat are gonna be even clump together. So David's gonna screw the top on really, really tightly here. And then what he's gonna do is he's gonna start to shake. So you're gonna be shaking for quite a while, so I suggest you find some good music and have a little shake dance party while you do this. Maybe play a little shake, 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 shake your butter, or hippie, hippie, shake, shake, or shake Sonora. Just use the time wisely. So we've been shaking for a while now. And you'll notice that that marble, you can hardly hear it anymore because the butter fat is starting to separate from that liquid. And what you're gonna hear after a while is you'll actually hear what sounds like a swishing sound inside. And that means that you've actually separated your butter fat from the liquid. So let's see if we can hear it. There it is. Yeah, that's that liquid. Cream. Yeah, that's the swishing sound. So that tells us that what we've got now is we've got butter. When you start to hear that swishing sound, that water on the inside, let's listen again. That tells us that we've now separated our cream into butter fat and the liquid that we call buttermilk. So we got butter and buttermilk. So we're gonna go ahead and open it up now. Let's open it up, let's see what we've got here. We got butter, we made butter now. And so you'll notice you've got a solid, which was the solid fat that was floating around in that liquid. And then we've got our liquid, which is buttermilk. So what we wanna do, we wanna eat some of this. We're gonna need some bread. We'll go ahead and pour off our buttermilk. And if you want to, if you really, really wanna get a lot of this buttermilk out, you can rinse your butter in some cold water and actually squeeze it between your hand between the fingers of your hand and that'll squeeze out some more of this, this, uh, this buttermilk. But right now we've got some butter. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna eat some of our butter. We've got a little bit of honey over there. Right now what we have is what's called sweet cream butter. If you added some salt to this, you'd have salted butter. If you add a little honey, we can make honey butter. We have to make garlic butter. Um, but we're gonna make a little bit of honey butter for David here. He's gonna taste it for us. So we've got a knife, you go ahead and squeeze a little bit of honey in there. That's good. And then you're gonna mix it around with your knife. And I'll let you have the first taste. How about that? Okay. Sounds good? Yeah. All right. So here's some bread. Here's some bread for you. And while David's spreading this on, I'll remind you, we are using really basic materials, things you got right in your home to make butter and to study a little bit of the science of mixtures. Say how we can separate a colloidal suspension 
into a solid and a liquid. Great little science for talking to your kids about the mixture. Want to taste it? <laughs> yeah, I already set the hand. How's that? Wow. I can really taste the butter and the bread. <laughs> and that's what we were going for. All right, folks, I hope you learned a little something. Do some science with your kids at home. I'll see you next time.